Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Plank Face. Plank Face is a film that was in the horror pack. Uh, it was the limited edition Blu-ray, I believe, a year or two ago now, and uh, probably about two years ago. It's by Bandit Motion Pictures, and uh, one of the gentlemen behind it is Scott Shermer, who I had spoken to very briefly on Facebook to ask if he had any more for sale. He did not, uh, so I went to eBay and got this for... I think it was 15 bucks. So <clears throat> Plank Face, to me, is a exactly what an independent horror film should be. Uh, this is something that went under a lot of people's radars, but if you've seen Scott's other films like, I want to say it was either Harvest Lake or Lake Harvest, um, very weird, sort of creepy, sexualized, independent <clears throat> horror movie, sort of similar, but I like this one more. Um it involves this couple that is in the woods, and they are uh, hiking, and they get overtaken by these people who are cannibals, and they capture the man, and one of their own cannibals is injured prior. So they capture this, this guy, and they now are making him a savage and a cannibal like they are. They're force-feeding him. They're raping him or at least, you know, forcing themselves on him. Um, they're fitting him with this crazy plank mask, and they're fitting him to the role of the alpha male that the older guy from their group, who was the, I guess, alpha male, is now dying from his wounds. Uh, they proceed to cut his testicles out and feed them to the new alpha male forcefully. Um, they threaten him that they're going to shoot him and kill him, but they don't really speak. They do a lot of like grunting. It's a very savage, raw type movie where uh, lots of things are, are portrayed with uh, visual actions or grunts and and you know people pulling out weapons more than actual speech. There's not much speech in this film. In that way, it sort of reminded me a little bit of Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior, where there's not a ton of speech, but what is said is is pretty poignant. However, uh, it's they, they get all their points across with just actions and and such. There's a lot of female nudity, male nudity. You know, the main character crouching naked in the woods, and they just have a long shot of them all bathing in the woods in like a stream and washing one another. So there's lots of sex sexualized uh, scenes and, and nudity. Um, so be aware of that when you go to uh, watch the movie. It definitely has a weirdness to it and a creepiness to it. Uh, like I said, there is a lot of savagery and like butchery and, and cannibalism. Not a ton, but it, it's it's there. Um, the main story is the family is trying to now uh, coerce and manipulate him to become their new alpha male. And as the story progresses, he starts to sort of go back and forth mentally. And you can see him doing certain things to where is he going to stay with them or is he going to try and escape and live a normal life again? So uh, it comes to a pretty interesting conclusion at the end, something that you may not expect. And overall, I just think it's a great under-the-radar um, hidden gem for an indie horror movie. It's, it's, a, it's an indie horror darling, if you will. I think that if you don't mind lower-budget films, but you want something to be intrigued that's interesting and kind of gritty and messed up feeling uh, with a lot of nudity in it, check out Plank Face because this, this movie was really cool. Um, if you're going in it for like straight horror, with like, you know, somebody chasing someone through the woods with an ax, you're not going to find that. It's more about the internal struggle with this guy trying to decide what to do with his life and how he's now tipping over into becoming a cannibal and like a savage living in the woods with these Neanderthals, for lack of a better term. And n now he starts to, to mentally change and doesn't know what to do. So um, the main girl on the cover, who they call the bunny bunny girl, I believe, uh, she reminds me a lot look-wise of the Huntress from Dead by Daylight, which is one of my favorite video games. But it was a great movie. Uh, no subtitles, sadly, but as I said, there's not a lot of speech, so you probably didn't need them. Um, some cool violence. And one of the things I always found funny that I noticed at the beginning of the film, uh, one of the guys in this couple, not, not the main guy, but another couple that gets attacked, he takes off his shirt to try and sleep with his girlfriend in the woods, and he has a Silent Hill tattoo on his arm, and then he has a Sisters of Mercy tattoo on his chest. Two of my favorite properties, and he has them on him. I thought that was just such a weird coincidence. Um, but if 
you like indie horror movies with a rawness to them and a creepiness, um, and you don't mind a lot of nudity, wholeheartedly recommend Plank Face. I told my buddy Bill Radovich about this. He checked it out. And he said it was great. So um, if any of that sounds interesting, let me know what you think of the movie if you've seen it. Maybe you're a Horror Pack uh, subscriber and you've seen it already. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.